with baby Lai. Today I got some Play-Doh Sweet Shop Sunday treats. We can make bananas, strawberries, pears, and cherries. I'm so excited to try it for our babies. So let's open it up. It came with this light yellow Play-Doh. Looks really good. It also came with this red Play-Doh. It looks really good too. It came with two little dishes. It came with this little syringe so you can squeeze out a shape. It came with this little strawberry mold. A little apple mold, a pear mold, and this little banana mold. Let's make some food. First, let's make a strawberry. I'm going to take some red. It's so pretty. And then I'm going to smash it into the mold like this. And I'm going to leave the top open so I can put some green in there. Mash this in there as good as I can and peel off everything around the edges like that. And see how this little space up here is still open? I'm going to put some green right there. I have this green glitter Play Doh. I used it to make broccoli the other day. It's going to take just a little bit. I'm going to squeeze it in the top like this. going to be yummy, huh? Mm. All right, it's time to take it out. Oh, isn't it cute? Let's put it on a plate. Here's our strawberry. Yum. Okay, now we're going to make a pear. So I'm going to get some more yellow. Like this. I'm going to mash it just a little bit to get the crinkles out. And I'm going to fill my pear with yellow and mash it in there really tight. And anything that squeezes out, I'm just going to peel off of the edges like that. And at the top where the stem goes, I'm going to put a little bit of green so I get some more green, just a little tiny piece. And I'm going to stick it in there. Hmm. Sometimes it needs a little extra shaping. Like right there you can see. It has a little dent. Like that. Isn't it so cute? Now we can put our pear on a plate too. Next we're going to make some bananas. So again I'm going to take some yellow. Like this. And mash it around a little bit. And then I'm going to push it into the banana mold. A little stem open again. So I'm going to get some green and put there. Just a little tiny piece like this. And push it in there. Alright, let's see how our banana turned out.
<laughs> doesn't want to come out. There we go. Oh, look how perfect. And we can shape everything back that kind of pulled when we were taking it out. Isn't it adorable? Hope you guys can see the yellow okay. It seems really bright. Look how cute. All right, <laughs> there's our bananas. Aren't they adorable? Now it's time for our apple. I thought this was a cherry when I first looked at the picture. I thought that was a cherry, but I guess that it's an apple because it's the same size as everything else. So we're going to make an apple. We're going to take the red Play-Doh, get out a big chunk like that, kind of mash it real good and get it kind of used to being worked with. And I'm going to mash it into the mold like this. And then for the little stem, I take a little tiny piece of green and push it in like this. All right, let's take it out. Sometimes they're so hard to get out, but that's okay. We can shape them back. And look how a little bit of red got up on the stem. So we can just kind of mash that down and form the stem back how we want it. Like that. And then if you want to get extra fancy with your apple, you can take a little more green and kind of shape a leaf on your own like this. Even though your baby won't eat a leaf, I think it'll still be kind of cute. We can put it on the apple. Just kind of work with it until it looks right. I probably should have gotten some brown Play-Doh for some of these, but it has a little leaf on it now. And you can kind of use your fingernails to like put a little, a little line down the leaf. It's really cute. All right, there's a little apple. I think it's really cute. We can make a little sundae in one of these little cups. And I'm going to use the yellow and squeeze it really good. And then I'm going to take the syringe and like I want it to be kind of in an almost like a tube shape so that I can put it right in here. There we go. Now I put the plunger in and we take our little dish and we can put it in like an ice cream. ice cream. Isn't it cute? I think it's adorable. We can take some little red play-doh like this and tear it in little tiny pieces and just kind of roll them around like that to make little sprinkles. So I'm going to make some sprinkles and put in here for us. Okay, I have my sprinkles. They're a little big, but we can pour them on top or we can put them in individual places like this. And if you want to make different colored sprinkles, that would look cute too. So it looks like a little ice cream with sprinkles on it. Isn't it cute? So which of these do you like the best? Do you like the ice cream and sprinkles, the strawberry, the pear, the banana, 
for the cute little apple. This new set would be really good for feeding snacking Lily dolls or snacking Sarah dolls. So let me know in the comments below which is your favorite and which of these you would like to see me feed to one of our babies. Also let me know if you would like to see it fed to the Snack and Lily or Snack and Sarah doll. I'll put some polls up at the top so be sure to answer those if you can. And if you can't go ahead and put them in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching. Please give us a big thumbs up and share this video with your friends. And go ahead and subscribe if you're not already subscribed. Thanks for watching. Bye.